un giorno un caffè per favore anzi faccio due caffè Ciao a tutti amici del Legnano Basket, eh, siamo in compagnia di Nick Raivio. Ciao Nick. Ciao Vale. Come stai? Uh, sto bene, grazie. E a tu? Come stai? Tutto bene, grazie. Eh, dobbiamo capire in che lingua parlare, se in italiano o in inglese, comunque non vi preoccupate, troveremo una soluzione. Um, I want to say happy birthday to you because uh, today is uh, before was your thank birthday. You. Thank you very much. Sì. So don't worry because uh, I used to enjoy my birthdays. Yeah. But as I'm getting older, I'm afraid. Uh -huh. So I, I wait long before I used to be very excited, but now uh, it is what it is. But thank you very much. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. And thank you for coming uh, here with us oh, and uh, accept to talk uh, about you, not just like a player, but uh, a man. So sì. thank you. Prego. Um, when you start to play basketball and uh, why? Because I know that your father uh, played uh, when he was uh, young in uh, Pilots uh -huh. and uh, he was the best player uh, during 1980, 1979. And maybe he gave to you the, this passion. Um, let's see. Well, first of all, I started mm -hmm. playing maybe around age 10 or 12. Um, Like I've said before, uh, usually I played, I used to play all sports. Mm -hmm. um, I used to ride bicycles, play um, football americano, mm -hmm. calcio, soccer, um, baseball outside, usually anything outside with friends. But um, I also played basketball growing up. It was natural. My father played. My brother was mm -hmm. a year and a half older. He played. Um, I mean, it was always, it was always present. It was never forced. But, uh, you know, um, it, it was natural. My father played. So, um, You know, we'd see videos or, you know, basketball movies or something on TV or, you know, m many of our family friends were uh, associated with basketball, so it was natural and we enjoyed to play. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it was uh, something we enjoyed. It was easy. And um, my parents never, you know, forced us and said, you must do this, you must train, you must... Yeah, and nobody pushed you. No, no. So but if we have a question and we ask... Um, First of all, my mother is, doesn't know anything about basketball, but my father, <laughs> if, you, if you ask him something, of course he'll help you. But um, they encourage us uh, to try everything and to just follow our passion. And uh, fortunately, basketball was my passion, same with my older brother. And around the age of 10 or 12, mm -hmm. we get more serious. And um, once we start to improve and, you know, we, you know, it feels good to work hard and you can feel the progress. So i felt that and i and i enjoyed it obviously so um i continue step by step and um and here i am <laughs> good i want to show you a picture that i find uh, this one uh -huh. your father right your brother and you mm -hmm. so you want to say something uh, maybe you have memories uh, about your past uh, <laughs> i have all type of memories <laughs> um probably if i mean if i had to pick a best memory probably just uh, in the backyard mm -hmm. at, at our home. We have, um, we have a pretty normal home, mm -hmm. home with a backyard. Um, here they call it a garden. But yeah. um, my dad actually, he made a, with cement, concrete cement, he made the floor and there's a basket. And um, you know, it's not very pretty and it's not very big, but um, you know, it's, it's big enough and it was perfect. And growing up in the summer, before we, maybe around the age of 10 or so, before we got too serious, we were, we were always competitive with different things. Um, and it was hot in the summer, it was very warm, so we were always outside, we play, and um, usually we were competitive, and my brother is saying something, or my dad is saying something, so eventually it leads to some type of challenge, and we play, and we had uh, also my younger brother, mm -hmm. um, We would play. Yeah, because you have two brothers uh, and a uh, sister. Right. So, right. so usually, my younger brother would join. And it would usually be two on two. It, my my dad and my younger brother against my older brother and me. And we were always uh, we were really tough on my younger brother. We we'd push him down or push him in the bushes. And uh, you know, he, of course, he didn't like it. So, you know, if he was crying or if he said something, our father would push us into <laughs> into the bushes. Uh, so I. It wasn't, this wasn't just one time, and um, also my older brother would try to do with me, and I would do the same to him, but, but uh, no, it, it was, looking back, it was, it was good memories, it was, uh, you know, it was just something competitive. My mom, sometimes upstairs, she, she'd be in the, in the bedroom, and the mm -hmm. window would be open, and 
she was, you know, she would yell at the window, hey, if, if I hear a bad word, you're finished. So if I, <laughs> I hear something, if I have to come down, if I have to come down and stop the fighting, stop then it, yeah. you come inside and you're finished. You know, so, uh, I mean, it was nothing, just normal, normal child things, yeah. just, just uh, competitive. But I think with, with these guys, as far as basketball, the best memories, probably at home in, in the backyard. And I want to show you uh, a little surprise. A surprise? Yeah. Wait. Huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> Hello, Nick. It's your mom and dad coming to you from Vancouver, Washington. She would. She would. Happy birthday. Hopefully uh, you guys can get a big win this next weekend and get things going again. I uh, wish you all the best. Wish we were there. Go Lignano Knights. <laughs> get and, a victory. And enjoy some of that great Italian coffee. I wish I had some. Bye. Good luck. <laughs> it's a surprise. Lui non lo sapeva, eh? No, no, it's, it's a very good surprise. And uh, yeah. also, I see my dad is very excited. Yeah. I don't know. I'm the same way. I'm pretty laid back, but uh, I definitely have been trying some great Italian coffee uh, for Christmas. My girlfriend brought uh, her, her and her family brought uh, mm -hmm. bought a big espresso machine. And, uh, oh, nice. No, so I've, I've been having some great coffee, but no, this is a very nice message. Mom, Dad, if you're watching, grazie mille. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully this weekend we have uh, we have a successful weekend. But um, it's a long season, many more games. But uh, we appreciate your support, and I love you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for uh, this surprise. And I want to show you other picture. This one. Uh huh. Okay, in this way. And there is your family, and in the past, and now in the present. Oh, it's important, and uh, uh, maybe you miss something, uh, little uh, things, yeah, or... Uh... I mean, yeah, I mean, of course, of course, uh, I miss some things being far away. Mm -hmm. I mean, luckily here I found a, a place I'm very happy to be, and um, in a way I found almost something like a second family, but uh, family is family, but uh, really not a lot has changed. The time has gone by, but even... If there's days or months that go by, and even if uh, you know I don't speak on FaceTime or Skype, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, not a lot has changed. When we, when we speak, everything is the same. We have a very good relationship. Uh, we're close. We're not not too close, but we're close. We support each other. Uh, if somebody has a problem or needs to speak to you, everybody's very open and and. and Supportive. I mean, you can tell my, everybody everything except my mom. If you tell her something, uh, I love her to death. But you have to be careful what you tell her because uh, she can't keep a secret. Mm -hmm. But uh, really, I, you can say, uh, tell it. You can. It's very open. I don't know how to explain it. It's a very good natural relationship. Um, of course, I miss them. Uh, but for me, not a lot has changed. Uh, my sister, she's a baby in this in this yeah. photo, but. Now she's in a she's in a university. She was a baby. So. Now, yeah, she got. Yeah, everything is. My she parents, my parents yeah. are the same, but um, no, not a whole lot's changed. Everything's pretty similar. So, well, nice. And I found this one because I love horses. Yeah. And uh, I found this picture. Maybe is your grandma. Right. Um, this is in uh, Washington, Washington State. Mm -hmm. um, she actually passed away. A few years back, 2010. But uh, this is my grandma. This is me with two hands on the horse. Quello girato di spalle che accarezza il cavallo. This is my little brother. I, I don't know why he's so excited. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, these are my two cousins. Um, so yeah, this is. E le due cugine, quelle sulla destra. Yeah, this is just in the summer in uh -huh. uh, Washington State near my. You spend your my holiday with uh, the summer holiday with your. Uh, Grandma and your um, grandfather, no? They're maybe 30 minutes from my family. Um, now, my grandfather, he's, he's uh, alone, but mm -hmm. so he, he visits much more. But they were very busy. They have a very busy life. But um, we had a great, great relationship. We keep in touch. So they were 30 minutes away. So we saw each other pretty often. Good. Um, I know that you like ancient history. And uh, you were here last season, and there was Palio, il Palio di Legnano. So, what do you think about it, and uh, your impression? 
about the history of Legnano? Um, as far as ancient history, just in general, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm very interested. Um, I mean, I've seen some things, you know, like not not everything I've wanted to see. Mm -hmm. I've seen, you know, like Duomo many times, of course, and um, I've been to Roma for a game. You know, it's, it's you, you go to be focused on the game, not for vacation. Yeah. So you know, yeah. I haven't had a chance to see everything in Roma, in Roma. But uh, in May, my friend and his fiance are coming, so um, we plan to have a trip for maybe five days or so, and um, yeah, I'm very interested in this, but as far as Lediano in the Palio, actually, uh, we played in Siena, mm -hmm. and the night before, we walked around, and I saw the yeah. um, Piazza, in Piazza del Campo, so, uh, yeah, so we saw the Piazza del Campo in Siena, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know, last year during the Palio, it's a magician plane, I, I've seen videos on YouTube, and uh, the Palio, I've seen just all the people, and uh -huh. it's, it's uh, it just feels crazy to actually to see a video and to actually to be inside, but uh, that was cool to see. I, I appreciate these things. And um, last year for the Palio here, I kept hearing oh, Siena, um, you know, there's I don't know seven or eight Palios. What is it total? Something um, in Italia? In Italia, uh, Siena di Palio ce ne sono un sacco. Okay, okay. Si, Siena, Buti, uh, Asti. Insomma, ne abbiamo, okay. c'è una tradizione abbastanza importante. There is an important tradition. Right, right. Anyway, I heard all about Siena, so <clears throat> I saw that. But um, last year for the Palio, it, mm -hmm. it rains. The weather wasn't very good, but <clears throat> it was my first time to see. Uh, I don't care so much about the weather, about the rain. I'm used to yeah. it. But uh, for me, I, I like to see. There was not parade and uh, all this stuff before the, the race. No, no, but for me, it was cool. It was my first time. Uh, mm -hmm. I plan on staying to watch it at the end of May. And um, if the weather is not so important, it'd be nice if it was sunny. But no, I, I liked it. And also, um, I've met many people in the Contradas, and I've seen many, you know, it's also Lolo here in the office. And, you know, you can see how people, how loyal they are to their Contradas. So last year, you know, I was hearing Contrada. I was hearing, you know, Lagnarello, San Mano. <laughs> You know everything of everybody Palio. Was, everybody was so <laughs> better than uh, Legnanesi. <laughs> everybody was so passionate about it, so I finally saw yeah, it. And now it's I, a passion. Now I understand, so yeah. uh, I, I hope to see you again. Yeah, it's like basketball. Uh, or you find inside your heart, or you you don't like. So, or you love, or uh, you hate, uh, and it, that's it. And the team of this season. How is uh, your relationship uh, with your teammates uh, and uh, nothing, something about uh, Bologna and uh, Italian League? The, the Coppa? Si, sí, Coppa oh. Italia. As far, <coughs> excuse me, as far as the team overall, um, mm -hmm. this is my experience overall, I'd say you know, uh, I'm very happy here. You know, it's my second year and um, just there's many of the same players same coaches from last season mm -hmm. and it, everyone here is pretty much the same so just to see from last season the same people and the growth carry over to this season um, if you ha ask me we've had a, a great season a very good season I think maybe two weeks ago it was great we've lost three three straight with very difficult games but uh, our goal isn't to be first place in January uh, our goal is to fight for the playoffs and um, we're in very good very good position mm -hmm. um, we were um, have players coming back healthy and um, you know now is a very important time to you know learn from the mistakes or learn from what's going wrong and you know not to be you know sad or negative or something but to improve and to build yeah for the next months but to answer your question uh, with the team I feel great like I said many many of the same people players from last season um, I, I love working with the team the club uh, I get along well with coach Mattia um, it just feels good. I mean, step by step, you know, I don't want to think too far ahead. I, uh, I'm very happy here, but it feels good to have a good season and we're right on track with our goals. So, mm -hmm. you know, right now I'm just really focused on, on these goals and trying to make the playoffs and have a, a good position, hopefully, in the playoffs. And uh, I'm happy to work with these people and to be in a situation. So I'm, I'm enjoy every day. So right now the only focus is to improve and prepare for these next months. Mm -hmm. Good. And I saw that you speed up your uh, free throws. <laughs> what do you think when you, when you are there? I don't think anything. Uh, 
people always ask me, uh, I've seen, I see my face, obviously mm -hmm. is strange, uh, I realize, but uh, really I don't care. Um, you know, when I was younger, uh, I never miss, never miss. And then uh, I grew and for some reason I changed my routine mm -hmm. and I was shooting quicker. And I was, some days I was making everything, some days so-so. And uh, it's something so easy, but it makes you so angry, something so easy when you make, when mm -hmm. you miss, you know. So uh, when I'm, when I'm taking my time, I'm usually, I'm tired and breathing or I'm just taking my time. Some, yeah. sometime too much, but uh, no, it's, it's, it's nothing special. Uh, it's a free throw, you know, and they tell me speed it up. So uh, yes, I speed it up, and um, no, you know, it's the important because thing uh, is important. you understand Italian time. <laughs> no, the important thing is to make it, of course. But uh, yeah. they told me eight seconds before. Someone told me five seconds. Someone told me ten seconds. Um, you know, it's it's not so important. So just just make it is the only thing important. So uh, it's funny because uh, it's like if you are inside a soap ball, so. <laughs> you are alone and uh, there is no noise uh, around you and... Uh, no, it's true, it's true. It's nice. And um, what about uh, the supporters, uh, the kids? I have a picture. There are a lot of pictures uh, with your jersey and... Oh, okay, Edo. Yeah. Um, oh, what you about uh, your relationship with, uh, with the supporters? <laughs> because uh, my, you are uh, like an idol for the kids, uh, for the young players. My relationship, I would say, is the same with pretty much everyone here. You know, uh, I, I found a good, very, very good place. That's why I decided early last season I wouldn't stay. And I'm very happy with the decision. Uh, something like the Contrada and the Palio, I, I recognize many faces, and even in Esolonga or mm -hmm. in the Centro or. Quando fai la spesa. Spesa. <laughs> uh, the restaurants, uh -huh. you know, I see many, many of the same faces. Even here, I see some, some of the same children from Palo Borsani. Si. So, you know, usually I, some of them could speak a little English, or the parents speak English, or, mm -hmm. you know, they just introduce themselves. And over last year and over this course of this season, I'll see, th see them in the matches or in the store or the restaurant. And, you know, I'll, you know, just say, hello, how are you? How are things? Como estáis tu do bene? And, uh, you know, just and do you feel the energy? No, I feel good. And, um, you know, it's part of the reason why it's a good place because you can recognize many people and the same people you're meeting and seeing are the same people who are in Palo Borsani cheering for you. Mm -hmm. and it's not the biggest gym, of course, but it's always full and it's a yeah. big show, good environment, and it's it's small, so it seems it seems bigger than it is because it's very compact. But uh, my relationship with the kids is, uh, is positive. I, I enjoy it, and if I can help... Um, in a positive way, and you know, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Mm -hmm. You have a message for uh, these kids? Uh, maybe somebody start to play basketball. You you want to give a message or say something? The message? Yeah, because uh, you know basketball uh, give to you the role of your life. Right. So maybe you can say something if right. you want. Um, that's true. Uh, for me, basketball played this role. Um, you know, I would say the, the same thing my parents told me, uh, you know, I would say <clears throat> to just try to be your best and find something you're passionate about. It can be basketball or skateboarding or yeah, science. other passion. Or uh, engineer to be a doctor. Just find something positive that you enjoy. Mm -hmm. And if you enjoy it, then it's not, it's not really work, you know, it's something you enjoy. And, and continue to improve and it's, it's not always going to be easy and perfect but you know if you put in the time and the energy and you know you put in did the right things then in the end it will it will work out and if not you'll be better for it so uh, it's uh if i could say a message mm -hmm. it's not something very special i would just something I, that i was told that works for me so hopefully it could work for someone else too okay uh, so thank you so much nick right. and uh, for your time eh, ricordiamo allora innanzitutto l'appuntamento per la partita che potrete seguire sui social di domenica alle 18 contro Scafati, quindi altra trasferta, you have to travel a lot uh, for Scafati, so mm -hmm. good luck. E, mh, niente, incrociamo le dita, vi aspettiamo ai prossimi appuntamenti, quindi mi raccomando seguiteci sempre e ringraziamo eh, come al solito Max eh, per... Eh, per il suo tempo e per darci la possibilità di queste interviste e 
Un bacione a tutti, vi salutiamo. Grazie. Ciao a tutti.